Hey, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day. Uh, I'm going to start off with Luke 7 today. Uh, I just have a quick word before we get started. If you're still struggling with sin, you know, keep driving forward. If you're trying to do the right thing, keep trying. You know, just repent for what you've done and then just keep driving on. You know, uh, if you're trying to walk away from lying, uh, you know, and then you tell a white lie, which is, you know, a sin because it falls under lies. Just repent, you know. Repent for the sin that you committed. Uh, you know, if you blaspheme, uh, repent for your sin. Uh, I'm still trying to currently walk away from sin myself. I'm still struggling with it. But, uh, you know, it gets better. Just keep trying, keep driving on, and keep trying to stay in the Word of the Lord. Uh, you know, just repent and ask for forgiveness. Hope everybody's having a good day. So we're going to start off at Luke 7, the centurion's fate. Uh, let's get started. Now, when he had ended all of his sayings in the audience of the people, he, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he, when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them, and, and when he was not, now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, Go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. Jesus raises the widow's son from the dead. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up, and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all. And they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea and throughout all the region round about. Jesus reassures John the Baptist, and the disciples of John showed him of all these things. And John calling unto him, Two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? When the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? And in the same hour he cured many of their infirmities, and plagues, and of evil spirits. And unto many that were blind he gave sight. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things ye have seen and heard, 
how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. What went ye out into the wilderness for to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they which are gorgeously apparelled and live delicately are in king's courts. But what, what went ye out to see? A prophet, yea, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet, this is he, of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people that heard him, and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. And the Lord said, Whereunto you, uh, excuse me, whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace and calling one to another and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you, and ye have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of all her children, a sinful woman receives forgiveness. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he should eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, and when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did pipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed her his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisees which had bidden him saw it, he spoke with him within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor, which had two debtors. The one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him the most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he gave most, and he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gave, gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them away with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins which are many are forgiven, for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they say, and they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? 
And he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee. Go in peace. All right, everyone, we're going to stop right there at 8. Hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Uh, if you haven't sought Jesus Christ, seek him. Uh, you know, your Bible, knock the dust off of it and read it. Uh, post a video of you reading it on you know, YouTube. Uh, get the word out there. Uh, if you haven't repented, repent. If you haven't sought salvation, seek it. Uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day. God bless you, and uh, keep your head up. It'll get better. Have a good day.